Hi, this is Pete Thayer. In this video, we're going to see how to find a bird if you know its name or even part of its name. When you open the program, you see the last bird you were looking at. You can use the tab above to find a different bird. Just click the small black arrow. And here's a list of all the birds. Use the slider on the right to move up or down this list. Notice that this list is arranged in taxonomic order. Drag and drop the small box on the right hand side to move up or down the list of birds. When looking for a specific bird, you have lots of choices. Here are five different ways to arrange the name of the bird. You can have the common name, you can have the scientific name, or even the band code. You can also have the bird names displayed in either alphabetic or taxonomic order. This gives you 10 different combinations. Here we've changed from taxonomic to alphabetic order. Notice that the list of birds now looks completely different. We'll keep alphabetic order, but let's change the display to last first. Now the list again has changed completely. We've seen how to arrange the bird names 10 different ways and scroll up and down the list. But look at these blue arrows over here. You can use these to move forward and backward as well. When we click the blue arrow to go to the very end of the list, we find ourselves at yellow throat, comma, gray crowned. This is the last bird on the list when we arrange it last first. And when we click the blue arrow to jump to the very beginning of the list, we see Accentor, comma, Siberian, a very rare bird. So far, we've seen two different ways to find a bird, but you can type in the bird's name if you like. Just click on the bird's name up here and hit the delete key. Once the box is empty, just start typing the name of your bird. Start with either the first name or the last name. Here we've just typed the letter C, but Smart Search has already limited the list of birds to just those beginning with this letter. As we continue typing C A R, we've reduced the list of possible birds down to five. When you see the bird you want, just click on its name. Notice that this list includes birds where the first name and the last name start with the letters C-A-R. We clicked on Cardinal, comma, Northern, and here we are. If instead of typing C-A-R, we had typed the letters N-O, we could still find the Northern Cardinal. Now let's find Louisiana Heron. All we need to type is L-O-U. Hey, it's not there. If you think you know a bird's name and it's really not there, try this. Click Tools and then Options. Now just click on the Name List tab and check the box where it says Include aliases in Name List. Click OK when you're done. Now when we go back and type L-O-U, the Louisiana Heron does appear. When we click on the name Louisiana Heron, we discover it is now called Tricolored Heron. This name change occurred in 1983. And now when you click the drop-down list, you can see a huge number of bird names that are no longer used. Go ahead and click on any of the names. If you think you saw a Myrtle Warbler today, you will soon discover that it is currently called Yellow Rumped Warbler. Two different birds, known as Myrtle Warbler and Audubon's Warbler, have been lumped together and are now called Yellow Rumped Warbler. Use the side-by-side -side comparison features to compare these two birds. Sometimes the scientists will split one species into two separate species. This happened to the Northern Oriole. When we click the first Northern Oriole on the list, we're taken to Bullock's Oriole, a bird of the western United States. Now let's go back and click the second Northern Oriole and see what happens. This time we see a bird called Baltimore Oriole. In 1995, the American Ornithologists Union split 
the Northern Oriole into Bullock's Oriole and Baltimore Oriole. I think the easiest way to find a bird by name is just to type in its name. So far we've seen that you can find a bird by using the drop-down list, or by moving forward and backward with blue arrows, or even by finding obsolete bird names. You can also find names of birds in French, German, and Spanish using version 7. Here's a drop-down list of bird names in French. And here's the same list in German. We can also see the bird list in Spanish. Before we end, let me show you one final trick. Click the word Window, then click New Tab a number of times. For each tab, you can select separate birds. What a great way to study everything in a family. Finding birds is easy. You can arrange the bird names ten different ways. You can scroll up and down a list of birds. You can type in the name of the bird. You can use blue arrows to move forward and backward. You can even search for obsolete bird names with version 7.